So it's mainly right knee pain that I've had for a long time, like 25 years or more. Okay. Oh. How uh, did it start? Uh, probably a rugby tackle in 1966. Knee was swollen, uh, splintered up for a while. Uh -huh. uh, and then another injury where in, when I was about 30, I fell um, onto a quite a sharp corner on my knee. Very, very painful, oh. I remember being. Um, And that was the thing. Do you want the medical history? Isn't it? Yes, of course. It isn't that much. <laughs> Months, general measles, whooping cough, mild, tonsils removed. Okay. Below eight, before eight, sorry. Uh -huh. um, bit of back pain, um, which kind of is a movable feast, and I think it started to come from my bad gait. Uh -huh. Because I've been in a shuffling mode for a year or two now. Oh. You know, I kind of tend not to do that so much. Okay. Um, I had an arthroscopy on the right knee in 1985 mm -hmm. and cartilage was missing. Okay. The prognosis wasn't good and actually I've done very well since, I think. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. He, he kind of went sharp in take of breath and thought he'd be seeing me for surgery, but he hasn't. Um, remember a few occasions of earache as a child. Okay. Nothing, nothing horrendous, I don't remember. I still get migraines. Started when I was 18. Uh-huh. They've changed. I don't get much pain anymore. I get more now just the visual distortions and a bit of and a bit of pain, but nothing like this, the debilitating okay. pain I got as a youngster. Uh, do you get nausea as well? No. no, just the visual. Just the visual distortions. Usually before I start to get the pain. Okay. And minutes. where is the pain? Well, it does tend to be a bit, but predominantly here. Predominantly right side above the above the eye. Yeah. Do you know, I mean, I'm not absolute. I know it's, I think it differs. Mm -hmm. I think it differs. But in the eye, it feels like the eye itself is bruised. Oh, okay. And occasionally, right on the top, like I can press and ease it a little. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this, the migraine started at? 68. I was 18. At age 18. Okay. Um, mild With age. this period. <laughs> I was late with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, the rugby happened first? No, oh, the rugby happened. a long way ahead. 1966, I was 16. Um, that's, when the, what, that's when the knee thing started? At 16? No. That was the first injury to my knee. Ah, 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 okay. Because you said 25 years ago, you've had the knee pain for 25 years. Ago, I started years. to have trouble with my knees. Okay, gotcha. But I had two incidences. One was the rugby, one was the and falling on the, the thing. Fall okay. Into, but uh, 25, drop. yeah. And 25 years ago, there was no precipitating factor. You just woke up one morning and the knee was painful. Oh, no, it gradually came on. It wasn't a switch like that. Yeah. I mean, I just... just okay, uh, so little by little. Okay, Little by gotcha. little, my knee became stiffer and, and sore. Okay, gotcha. I think it's hard to remember that. Right yeah, now, yeah. You know. Um, from about mid-twenties, mild IBS, which is pretty okay. much... It doesn't really bother me much these days. Okay. A little bit of erratic bowel, that sort of thing, you know, but not... Not, it's not a big part of my life. Mm -hmm. I'm overweight. Um, many crowns, two apicectomies, missing the top teeth altogether now. Oh, uh, apicectomies? Where they go in um, sort of through here uh -huh. to take out the root. General, oh, root canal. Well, so how is that different than? Uh, oh, it's a general anaesthetic. It's a general anaesthetic. I think because the look. Oh, because they do the root canal not not from the tooth. They do it from from the gum. Yeah, they do. They it from actually the gum. cut the gum. In. Yeah. Why do they do that? I don't know. It depends on the actual tooth, and it also depends on the condition of the person. It's they can either do it in the dental practice. It's too serious if they do it in the theatre. Huh. Both mine were done. And how many of these have you done? Two. The front two teeth? or, or uh, No, I'm the front sure. two teeth are not yours, you said. Actually. Well, none of my teeth are mine on my own now, on the top. Oh, you've, it's, they're all implants? No, they're all, there's a plate. It's a denture. Oh, oh okay, so you lost all your teeth. Slowly. Not, yeah, not, yeah. not as a result yeah, of Yeah, yeah, no rugby, but... <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Just, just, <laughs> no, no, but... Uh, bad, bad, they bad sort healthcare, of... bad teeth, yeah, yeah. bad dentistry, combination yeah. of stuff. Okay. Okay, and the bottom? The bottom one is about, I've got most of them. Okay. But there's, uh, a, there's a, no, I think, I think there's a crown on the bottom. Okay. I think they're okay. Interesting, okay. Uh, I get an occasional, and it's spontaneous, I'm giving you the whole word. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, it's okay. okay. Go um, <laughs> um, 
sensitive skin just comes out of nowhere, lasts about 24, 48 hours, and then uh -huh. goes. And specifically on the thigh? But always on the thigh, nearly. Okay, no, both sides. Occasionally, I think either. What do you mean by oh. sensitive skin? It's like, it's, like, it's like the skin's been rubbed raw, but there's nothing there. And even wearing clothes is uncomfortable, it's not horrendous. It's, it's not itchy. Like... No, no, it's not really itchy, it's more sore. And there's nothing visible on the skin, nothing there's a reaction? No. no, but it feels like it should be a big graze. That's, yeah. that's the feeling of... Yeah, I think I know um, Back pain... It was. A, I got a really bad episode. I don't. It's not something that's part of me, other than mm -hmm. I think it's spread up to this region because of the way I walk. Mm -hmm. And I lifted something too heavy about three years ago and got got a really bad bout, which doesn't seem to have returned. So okay. Uh, two to three episodes of bronchiolitis in the last four years. Of what? Bronchiolitis and plain bronchials. Oh, okay. Bronchiolitis? That's what the well, how, is That's that different than bronchitis? Well, he calls it bronchitis. Is it less than bronchitis? Hmm? Is it less than bronchitis? No, it's a horrendous cough. Ah. I mean, it's a cough that sort of, sort of feels like you bruised the diaphragm by the time you've finished. Ah. Um, but again, two, three sessions, I think, I think possibly three uh, in four years. And mm -hmm. that was, that's very recent. I mean, it's only the last four years that's okay. occurred. I had a prostate biopsy about three years ago. Mm -hmm. It was okay, um, but it's increased the uh, urinary symptoms of urgency. The biopsy itself. The biopsy to, itself, okay. Seems gotcha. to have Got, done. Yeah. I wouldn't have had it done if I don't know. Uh -huh. But um, otherwise, fairly healthy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. How many 65? 65. All right, right knee. Tender on the on the needle. Yeah, right. yeah, it looks and, quite and, bruised. And, and underneath the uh, yeah. patella. All right. But the tenderness is less today. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm t less <coughs> tender today. I've got some shoes which are adjusting my gait, mm -hmm. which I don't wear other than a few minutes a day, and it has, oh yeah, you it mentioned has yeah. eased yeah. some of the symptoms. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Got um, Hiatal hernia? No. Okay. Oh, does it all like out? It looked like something was popping up there. Okay. okay. One, two, three, there. four. Three. Three. Okay. And anything here? No. How about under? Not today. Not today. Do you want to turn that video, you're right? No, right now, okay. So it's this one, right? You have to press hard to get that. If you pressed a bit harder there, I think, no, not quite. Yes, there. Yeah, there. Okay. All right. Oh, can I just double check with you? So when somebody comes in and they come in with bouts and think muscular skeletal, you start there and you're checking to find the pain that in that oh, okay. before you do abdominal? No, no, okay. no. That, that actually, I, it should work the other way around. Uh, it, it all, it's all a question of evaluating. I'm a first-time patient that comes for knee pain. I'm not going to do that because if I check the knee, they're going to get, when I, if I ask about the abdomen, they're going to expect me to be, you know, that I've set up, this is the pain they expect now. They won't report anything unless it's this. So no, you should check the abdomen first. So, you know, it's, it's, it is better to do that. Mm -hmm. But with him, since he knows that, yeah. you know, so I might as well figure out that, okay, this one, right? No. You're nearly there, but a little bit down. About there, there. <laughs> <laughs> this one's better. This one's better, okay. Good, I find out it moves. Is it? It's good enough. Is that in an eye, or is that more on the... It's, um... It's not, no, it's not inner knee eye at all. It, it's, it's quite a bit towards liver aid. It's, it's around here. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Now, from his story, there's a lot of immune issues. There's bron bronchiolitis, whatever it was called. And there's the, um, there's the tonsils that were removed. There's a bunch of ear infections there. And very interestingly, there is... Um, the whole upper gum is has been affected. So he, you know, I, he, you know, he can say it's the teeth, but I think it's really the gums were not holding, probably not holding the teeth well, and mm -hmm. allowed for the rotting condition, which means it's probably some sort of, you know, could be some sort of sinus or, you know, it's it's something in the nasal nasal cavity 
That, and that's why, how come the bottom ones, if it was just genetically I have bad gums, why is the top one problematic and the bottom one not? So the top one is the one that's you know, connected to all your other immune possibilities and he has a weakness in, in, in immunity. So just for the sake of it, let's check that theory. So here, right? Uh, nearly. Yes. The mark doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. The, okay. How's now? Gone. Gone. Okay. <laughs> so I, it's just kind of a way for me to sort of say yes. It, I had some cute idea that you know ultimately he's going to be a lung immunity type person just from the story, and I want to see. That's why I checked the knee fast first because I, I I wanted to sort of look. Did, was my impression of his medical history relatively correct? And seems like yes. Now, if I really want to know if that's true, I mean, get extra confirmation, use the other side, which is not supposed to affect it. You know, because we can say immune points are good for ligaments. Okay, and knee is, has to do with ligaments. So, we'll, so it's here, right? A little lower, yes. Okay. And now? Press harder there, please. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that's fine. That's the, there's, there's no pain. No pain. It's okay. I wasn't sure you were pressing, though. I, I know. Most people aren't yeah, sure I'm pressing. I, I've heard that from back there. <laughs> <laughs> so. so it went on the other side, you did the same point on the other side and it's still... I did immune and it's still... In other words, what, what I'm trying to say is that if, it's, if the point is... Generally, points work for the same side except when we say... When we say they cross, we should use the opposite side. But what I'm saying is if you're treating the person and basically it kind of tells me yes immunity is it's not this immune point is working same side because oh immune and ligaments it appears that immune is really the core of his issue because op if opposite side works then it says it's it's the systemic of it does that make sense all right so now did you uh no back you said you used to have back pain but it's okay you know anything else it that was, this it was still an is acute episode. yeah um, i'm still getting pain to this side of the lumbar the right side of the lumbar spine uh, i'm fairly sure it is connected okay with, with so snake. yeah yeah don't, 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 don't. okay so somewhere around here yes just yes there okay it's not painful to touch it's an aching but that's where it is that's okay it is. is it aching right now inside no. oh, okay. it was before you touched it <laughs> well no because you've altered my position lying flat on the bed it would have started to ache does that make more sense lying flat made lying, it lying flat it had started to start to, to, to activate now. yeah it's activated now a little okay and how's now I think it's gone. I mean, it has gone. I, okay. It, it had barely started when. Okay, got you. Got the thing is, he's actually where he's pointing to is is the the posterior iliac crest, yeah. which in it, again is another immune area. So you know, so people say yes, it's structural, but why did that structure go? You know, like he can say it's because of you know the knee, you know the gait, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But why specifically that one, that area is the because that's his weak link. In, you know, immunity is his weak link, it appears. So now, now let's check abdomen, now that we've decided to, you know, we've decided to classify him, let's see what he actually says. So, when I poke here, you just feel my fingers? Yes. All right. How is this? No Good. problem. Good. Okay. This one? Okay. All right. This one? Okay. Other adrenal? Yeah. Okay. Ren 9? Slightly different, not pain. Just slightly, slightly okay. And 12? More of the same. Slight, More of the same, same stages, okay, slightly, okay. Not pain. 15? Okay. Okay. The left side? Okay. Versus the right side? Right side's a little more tender. A little more tender, okay. And right side? Okay. And left side, no. Fine. Okay. Gallbladder 26? There's yeah. something more on this side, right? Yes, there is, but it's, it's yeah, very it, it, subtle. Okay, that's okay. And um, kidney line, okay, for bronchial. One, two, 
three. Anything? Fine. Fine? <laughs> One, two, three. Fine. No problem. No. Okay. Um, so he has so few findings up to now. Relax. But you're suspicious. No. <laughs> um, that I want to check if he doesn't have a slow pulse because a slow pulse type is not going to show as much on the abdomen, so it makes sense. And his pulse is not slow. You have a, quite a weak pulse. His here, we call that one muffled. Muffled? And this one is fine. I mean, it's not muffled. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see why it's, you know, I, I don't know what the... I mean, I, I don't... In my 21, um, it must be called something else in America, or, or the terminology must be different. Oh, 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 got you, okay. So. Yeah, actually, it's not muffled at all right now. <laughs> it, it, ca it came up quite strongly suddenly, but okay. Why does the slow pulse type not show so much on the Exactly why I don't know, but when I don't find anything in the abdomen, and the thing is, because at age 65 I would have expected to find something, you know, and he doesn't have enough to, you know, so... Stingy. Uh, hmm? Stingy Tim. Stingy <laughs> So when stingy patients come, they may, maybe it's, they're stingy, with, they release the pulse very slowly, <laughs> so, you know, but no, what I can about slow pulse is slow pulse, we don't needle the abdomen because stimulating the lower abdomen makes the pulse slower, okay? But I've also noticed that slow pulse type generally often may not have a lot of findings, but that's not his case, so. Um, uh, okay. One, two, three. I think the top one, right? The top one and the bottom one. And the bottom. Okay. Not severe. Just... Okay. That's sternocleidal. Yeah. And right, uh, left side. Two, three. Uh, bottom one. The bottom. The bottom. The bottom and the top here. Okay. We'll check the scalings. <laughs> one, two, three. Not really. Okay. One, two. Three? Okay, one. Okay. So clearly more stuff on the right side and partially, you know, he did say something here. So liver uh, possibility. Yes. Um, a shoulder injury about four years ago has recurred, i.e. the pain has recurred. Mm -hmm. And the pain is on the top of the capital crest, crest and in the body of the delta. Okay. At the top of the what? The scapular crest. Yeah. I'm not sure what S the... S -S oh, oh, okay. Like here? Yeah, a bit more to SI-13. Yeah. Uh, Here? It's not particularly strong on palpation. Okay, just... but something, uh, but I am producing something. Yes. Okay, and here? Um, that's where the pain would be, but it's not there on palpation. Okay, so small intestine 13. How small intestine better. 13? How much better? Um, there's no problem at all. Okay, Gone. so... Here's the, the problem that gets presented right now is, okay, I've got a solution for everything, but if I just do it, this is where insurance comes in, okay? I, can, I could say, I've diagnosed an immune, immune type, I do immune points, and he should be just fine, and, he's, and it's done. But then I risk the possibility, you know, so I'm basically going to ignore immune point right now, do everything else I can, and I will add immune point at the end. So I'm actually doing the insurance up front, because if I do immune, I won't find it, I won't get, there will be no findings, okay? So, um, oh, I just wanted to check, one, two, three, four, any discomfort? No, fine. One, two, three, four. No. No, okay, I just want to check because of the gum issues, you know, like if there's anything there, okay. Would you check like stomach 30 <coughs> with the knee thing? And <coughs> yes, yeah, yeah. And also he had the uh, prostate uh, business. And, and there's still the urination issue, right? Yeah, the, the, I mean, the reason I went for, 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 the, for the biopsy was a lump was found. Uh, oh. Uh, and it, um, I think it's always been there, and a new doctor just got a bit concerned about it. Yeah. But I went down the, the biopsy route, um, and the symptoms which had pre previously been very mild of, mm -hmm. of and for a long time standing, I mean, 20 odd years, I've, mm -hmm. 
20 odd years I've had to sort of urinate frequently or even maybe more than 20 odd years. And now it got worse. And now it just got worse immediately after the prostate had never cleared up. Okay. Um, immediately so, after the biopsy. Okay. So any kind of male urogenital stuff, I'm looking at the throat. I'm looking at releasing the throat. Men's urogenital issues are highly correlated with the autonomic nervous system. Sorry, highly correlated with the autonomic nervous system. Is that only men or women as well? No, that's all, that's men with women there's some connection, but with men it's like <laughs> totally tight together. Okay, so one, two, three. It looked like two was a little bit. No? Right. no? So. Nothing? Nothing. Yeah. That that last one, Okay. as every patient says, felt like you were pushing it harder. Okay, I'm pushing this one harder. Okay. And this one also. A okay. little. Okay. It's so, not pain. Okay. Is that stomach 30? <laughs> mm? uh, yeah. Um, well, it's a little bit further out than stomach 30, quite honestly. You know. Um, so I'm pushing harder and I'm pushing harder, right? Both the same. No, no, no. I mean harder than here. Oh, okay. Yeah? I'm pushing harder. Oh, here. I see. Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. I, I and just, just, yeah, I know. <laughs> and just for the sake of it, let's just try the immune on this and then we'll resolve it with something else. And am I pressing lighter now? Yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. We'll have to change the terminology. <laughs> Sorry. Can I ask? Um, I've heard if it's this autonomic neuro. Yeah, yeah, A and S. <laughs> right on the women, left on the men. No, it's always. Have you? I don't know where you go. I, no, I mean, you know, people, someone might have this experience. No, I haven't heard. No, it's true. Hmm? Women are it was, yeah, okay, wait, 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 women are susceptible to right-sided issues more in some ways because, first of all, I don't know if it's related to autonomic nervous system though, women will often display, no, I, I know what you're talking about, Thi no, 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 you're talking about thyroid, it's more, it's, it's, there, ten, there is a tendency in women to show thyroid more on the right side than on the left side. Women's constitution is blood. That's the Chinese expression, right? You've all heard that. Oh, women's constitution is blood. <laughs> and um, blood side is, I know it sounds contradictory to you, to you, but the blood side is on the right side. Okay, I'll go through that later. And the chi side is the left side. And I know you you've been told totally the opposite. Okay, and I'll go through that in a second. But clinically speaking, I, I, both things can be justified. But clinically speaking, it seems to show you know, more. So the, the neck, it's not the autonomic nervous system. Stomach nine area can show more clearly on women on the right side. But I can say that it shows more on the left for men. No, but I, I thought I'd heard about the autonomic nervous, you know, the SEM, Xiaoyang thing, that it's women on the right and... No. Left. Good. no. That's I can't, honestly can't say that. Okay, so stomach 30. And am I pressing lighter on stomach 30? Yeah, right. Yes. Okay, so liver 4 does it. Okay, let's check this side also. Stomach 30. So oh, that's my name. You, this affected. Oh, yeah, well, you twisted the knee out, so the foot's out slightly. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Go, hold on. Okay. How's st stomach thirty now? Could you do it without the belt level four? Okay. Yeah, because you had a shock in between. <laughs> That's without. And I'm trying not to twist anything. That's with. Lighter. Lighter. Okay. Now. It is marginal area. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I. I. I know. I know. I know. And you have something here, right? A bit lower than that. Yes. Okay. How is now? Okay. No, it, it, we, we're just looking for many options. And our, my standard dogma for knees, which is um, spleen 5, stomach 41. How is now? Okay. okay. You can press them both at the same time. Yeah. Spleen 5 and stomach. Spleen 5, stomach 41 is, is my combination, my best combination for knees, unless he has oh. clear stomach chi that would. Knee, not Pretty much any kind of knee, I don't care. Now, the dogma for the area and happens to be part of it. So if I'm going to expand immune, 
I'm going to try and get as much as possible, you know, milk immune as much as possible. Kidney 6 is part of immune treatment, as is do 14, and as is Sanjav 16. You can actually needle Sanjav 16. So because he's centrally immune, I'm going to try. So um, because the location here is considered kidney, kidney 6 domain location. Okay, so, and since kidney six also happens to be immune, it's a, it's a good thing to try. So, the, I, I have it, right? Okay. Oh, sorry, no, you didn't have it. That big oh, okay. Do I have it? No. Yes. Yes, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to do something a little bit not, unkind. I'm pressing kidney seven. How's the knee now twisting it? Okay, because the thing that I know that I can produce fairly reliably is that twist, mm. because the pressure. I, it, it seems like I have to keep moving. Okay, all right. Let's get you started. Oh, I have one more thing I want to test. Yes, you can. Uh, knee points, kidney six, lean five, liver four, stomach four. We want are in a similar sort of area. Would you use all four of those, or would you select maybe? No, I would. I might drop spleen five because the spleen five and liver four are extremely close. Let, let's see what happens. Uh, which points are you? Are you going to needle only on the right leg? No, I'll, the kidney six I'll do on because the kidney no the spleen forty the. Okay, liver four, both sides because of the stomach 30. Kidney six, both sides because um, immunity, immunity is systemic. The stomach 41, spleen five is only for the knee. It's not unrelated. But um, I just need to check one more thing, which is you had a little bit here. Yeah. Okay, because really should be kidney seven. So I want to see if kidney... The gallbladder 26 on the right side, which is also good for knees, right? How is gallbladder 26 there? Okay, let's start with that. That's kidney 6. Kidney 6, which means we're starting immune. Hmm? Do you use the uh, call between the 41 and the 5? Yes, originally it is a iron pumping cord treatment. You can do it without it. It's not a huge deal. Okay. Originally, those stomach 41 and spleen 5 is a combination that Kawhi used with an iron pumping cord. Okay. You know, but you, the, the points work without the pumping cord. Yeah. You wouldn't, you're not needling the upper hand to needle gallbladder 26. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> no, I will. I, 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 that's why I'm starting with this, so that I can needle gallbladder 26, even though his gallbladder 26, I could have just gone and needled it. Okay. You know, it's not a, not, not a problem. So. Where are we? Tender, you got it. I got it, and it's tender. Okay, that's good. So kidney six didn't do its job, but <laughs> what can you do? Better. How much? Oh. Completely. Okay. Okay. At the end of the second one. Okay, so the, yeah, it's okay. That that's it's good because it gives us more options. <laughs> so. <laughs> And liver four. Yes. It's really helpful because uh, Tim's you know, got like a measurable pain, but there's lots of people who come in and say, you know, I've got a knee problem that and I don't know what it's there, and you can't you press and you turn, and, and they can't produce it. They just they yeah. say, but it'll do it when I go up the stairs, down the stairs. I want to get up first in the morning. Do you still just do the forty one and the spleen five? Yeah, the... although for undefined knee pain, supposedly liver three, heart five are supposed to be a good combination. Oh. But you know, so like, how do you test it? Test it no. Yeah, well, then you test it on does it affect yeah. anything else? Oh. It, it's problematic. Yeah, the ones that you can't you can't get the pain on the table. You can't get, or can't get at least a reflection of it. It's extremely uh, annoying. <laughs> what was that? Uh, liver three and heart. Liver three, heart five. Thank you. Or heart six. I mean, you know, it's it's all the same there. <laughs> you know, yeah. not, not enough difference for me to. <laughs> and that means yeah. you can't produce it in clinic when you can't produce. Yeah, it's a well, no, but also undefined, meaning a generalized area, not a clear area in the knee. Okay. Hi, how's this now? Okay. Okay, and this one? Okay. Okay, 
And I think you have the first scalings here. That's fine. Okay, and here, I, you just have the third one here. That's good. Okay, good. Um, you put How, only, only put in his kidney six, liver and liver four up to now. Up to now. And gallbladder 26. And the neck, the neck has cleared. Yeah. Now, he had a little bit on REN 9 and a little bit on REN 12. Yeah. Still? They haven't changed? They, 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 yes, they, they, there's something there. So there's still something there. Okay. It's okay. certainly not pain. It's certainly not pain. Okay. How is stomach 31? But again, it feels a little odd, and that one feels odder. Odd and odder, okay. <laughs> well, compared to when you did yeah, yeah, yeah. the baseline, you know? Okay, so nothing here right now. How about stomach nine specifically? Yeah. Yes, okay. And now? Better. Okay. Because of male urogenital, I, I do sound Joe eight first, and then I'll needle stomach nine. Stomach nine was tender, was it? Sorry? Stomach, Stomach nine, nine was tender on the right side. And then anything on Stomach nine on this side? Yes. Yes. Okay. So he's stomach. Oh, that's tender. Sandra, Sandra eight? Yeah. Okay, eight sorry. Ho hold on one second. Yeah. How is that? Better. Okay. So I first, I check Stomach nine. I do Sandra eight opposite side to release it. Then I needle Stomach nine. For, you know, many of these prostatitis type, you know, urination difficulty issues, I do that. And then I can add inner yin. Okay. So you've needled the uh, Sanjo... Eight Sanjo 8 bilateral. bilaterally, and now I'm doing stomach 9 bilaterally. your genital issues, you check your stomach 30 area, get your response. Check stomach 9, if it shows, go to stomach 8, clear stomach 9. Then do stomach 9, and then yeah. the idea then is, in a in how's weird stomach 30? Not weird. Not weird, okay. No, it's okay. Yeah? All right. Um, so I still have to do stomach 41 and spleen 5? I might, okay. So before I do that, so sorry. That was better. How much is left? Uh, I'm reluctant to say none in case you do it harder, but it was. <laughs> 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 oh boy. I won't do it harder. I just need to test. I'm, I, um, I don't, <laughs> I promise, you know. I, I'm not a marquee. <laughs> I, I don't have any special interests. <laughs> so stomach 41, and we'll, we'll see in a second about spleen 5 because it is congested. You know, it's just that it's going to be a little, I can still get the needle in, but it's a little bit, you know, there's a fair amount going on. And I might actually choose to do mox on spleen 5. Just so that uh, no one's going to say that... Um, no, actually, if I do it without a needle, it's not a problem. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> By the way, you have a scar here. What is that from? I have no idea. didn't know I got it. Yeah, you've got a little scar on the immune point. Uh, no, I don't know. You, your hair. Where you, where you no, going? no, it's, it's, a, it, it's, it's a scar, a lengthwise scar. <laughs> yeah. It was quite tender when you were at the immune point. Oh, okay, hold on. No, not with a needle in. When you no, 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 when I press. Yeah, no, no, no. I, now, I actually, it's the only point that I'm feeling is warm. Okay, hold on. So, this is a little bit uncomfortable? Okay. How's now? Easier. Well, not okay. long, but easier. Okay, hold on. About the same, actually. Hold on, we'll find something. Better. Better. Okay. So, since he says that there was some pain, I already needle um, immune point, but then he said when you press there was some pain. So I'm trying, better to release it first. So, pain in the immune So, Sanj, hmm? Still tender. No, no change? No. Hold on. Are you releasing the immune point? I'm trying to release the immune point. It's not the end of the world if I needle it, but let, let me just see what I can get out. Okay. Sorry? How, sorry, what are you doing to release it? Sound just 16. One works for the, the one, they work both ways. All right. And 
And if Sandra 16 was sore? Better? Okay. Mm -hmm. If Sandra's I use immune. Oh, if right, Sandra yeah. 16 was also sore, no, then I don't have a choice. I, I have to do immune. But since he happened to have mentioned that his immune point was sore, and because he has a scar here as well. No, I don't, I'll look at that later. I hmm? can't remember at the moment. Yeah. You know the pain I said that the ache that comes into the deltoid as part of the shoulder pain, uh -huh. that's now there. Oh, it is? Okay. Ooh. Sorry. And did you Not needle Sanjo's? Sorry? Did you needle Sanjo's 16 or just use this as a... I needled I Sanjo's 16 yeah. and then I did immune point. So now you're feeling the deltoid? Yeah. Okay. Relax. Don't help me. So you ha sometimes you have to lift, Diane, you have to lift them yeah. in order to get your hand in. Okay. How's your deltoid pain now? Deltoid pain's fine. Where you are is a little tender. Okay, but the deltoid pain is deltoid fine. Pain's yeah. The De best point for deltoid pain is UB42, 43, towards the scapulospine. I can't needle it right now anyway, so. But so it will have to wait, unfortunately. Sure. Okay, let's um, let's do marks on the immune points because they're very important for him, and um, on spleen five. Um, spleen 5 location, Avi, is a bit tricky. Yes, it is. Um, especially with, once you take liver 4, you're going to see come over because they're going to be incredibly, incredibly close. So, liver 4 is on this side of the tendon, one thumb down, okay? Now, spleen 5 is halfway between the navicular and the, so it's basically here. So, you see how close they are? Hold on, once there's some goo on there, it'll be obvious. So the needle is liver four and the shionko is, um, oh, and I did these, okay. So they're incredibly close. So halfway between the vicula and the malignant. And yeah, just take the, the top of both okay. and go halfway and then you can look there's for a, a little bit. There is a dent there. Okay. You know? And again, it's a dent with gummy. In the malleolus. The kidney six, do you always needle it? Downwards, yeah. yeah. And where it's that's the direction of the channel. Um, I don't know that it has a relationship to the tendon. No, honestly, I'm just going for the depression under the, the malleolus. I'm not really looking. So, so hold on, we'll find someone without needles after I do the moxa and then we'll... Um, so I hear that this is uh, considered not as safe as somebody, some, some safety commission would like. Mm. <laughs> so... We're just pretending we haven't heard about Yeah, you haven't heard about it and the Americans apparently can do it and of course you never do this in your clinic, ever. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> So do you always moxa immune points? I like moxa. Well, with someone where I feel that that's a really big deal for, yeah. yes, I do. Okay. You know, I mean, you know, can I say that I haven't had patients that have done immune points and haven't, you know, moxa them? No, of course it happens. But it, it is a point that kind of begs for moxa. Okay. And uh, sometimes you put two or three needles in the same point? Yes, you can. Oh, his migraine I haven't dealt with. Um, I should have. For migraine specifically, I will do two or three. Um, and sometimes when they have more reflexes further down? Uh, you mean the, the point itself yeah. has more yeah. you know, options? Yeah, absolutely. Can. So the thing is, you have to evaluate. Uh, well, I'm not, best. okay, I'm not needling the point that has <laughs> the most, you know, the, I'm not looking for Asha point. I'm looking for a point that's effective in releasing. Okay, yeah. So, you know, so related to um, Harold's question also, with it, if there's three, you know, if I find three immune points that are effective, I will put them in, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, I won't take one out. Yeah. You know, I, I will keep them in because the immune point is very important for this person. I, I'm happy to do one, two, three. Mm -hmm. You know, three of them very close together. But with... Um, just because I can feel three 
you know, some things in the yeah. point. Doesn't mean if I and resolve the symptoms with one, I don't need to add the second and a third yeah. just for the sake same, of it. Same principle. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you press with the one. If it's gone, it's fine. If it hasn't gone, you might try the two. Yeah, and then yeah. If it's gone, that's fine. But the first one doesn't go in unless it did something. You know, it's not like okay, I'll do three and hope that one of them will will, will do the trick. You know, that there's oops, sorry. That that's the difference. How's your deltoid? Um, a slight ache, but not bad. Okay. What did you do for the, did you, did you needle it? I didn't do anything for the deltoid because I, it would go from the back, UB42, 43, towards the scapula. That's hard to do. <laughs> That's a special skill that even I have not mastered yet. From this position. From this position, yeah. That's kind of like... Is that what the hole in the bottom of the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, and because nobody wants to do it, they decide it's for pregnant women. <laughs> so. If someone had, like, really, sort of, really weak immune, would you ever, because I remember you once told me, and I just did the mock directly, uh -huh. but would you ever get them to take a tiger warmer? Yes, absolutely. Do the Absolutely. My experience with tiger warmer is that most patients just don't do it. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, a, it, it's a waste of time and, you know, like, you know, it's like, I've just have not had much luck in getting people to actually do it. Mm -hmm. you no, know, they come back the following and you say, if you do, if you, are you doing the tiger warmer? Like, no. <laughs> you should do the tiger warmer the next week. Are you doing the tiger warmer? No. So it's like, you know, you get enough patients to do that. You say, why would I bother spending money stocking a bunch of tiger warmers? <laughs> you know, and I, you know, and sometimes you, you know, they don't want to pay for it. So you lend it to them and blah, 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 blah. And it comes back. You have to clean the damn thing because it gets black and stuff. So you have to soak it in alcohol overnight to, to get rid of the ashes, you know. And it's kind of like, I don't use it in my clinic. I don't need it. It's only for their homework, and then I kind of like figured most patients are not going to use it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, absolutely. Do you use those? Do you put? I use. Yes, I do. Um, I do it mostly when, if it's a super important point, I want to keep stimulating it. Or, at the end of the treatment, they go, "Oh, I still have this," and I press on something, and it works, and I don't have time to, you know. So I put a press stack on. I generally, I hate to admit it. But the truth is, I buy the cheap press stacks. I don't buy the serine ones. ones. It's a, also, the, partially it's not just because of money. It's partially because the serine ones, used, the Pionex ones, yeah. used to be horrible because the tape was so strong. So the way they avoid it now, they have this whole apparatus that you have to peel. Mm -hmm. And then you peel, you know, so press stacks, I'm used to press stacks. You take and you, you, you jump it onto the skin. So that tape was so strong, it would stick to my finger, and then it would hurt the patient because the press stack wasn't going in fully because it was still wanting to stay with me. So they fixed the problem, but what they did is they made so much wrapping around it that I can't. It's so, half the press stacks end up on the floor. And so it's like, so I use the Dong Bang ones, and unfortunately, Dong Bang now has uh, quite strong tape on theirs, and the problem is not with my finger. The problem is. Sometimes you try and peel it off. It comes on a plastic sheet. And you try and peel the press stack off the sheet. And the press stack stays on and the tape comes off. Or half the tape comes off. It, it's very weird. So finding good equipment is sometimes problematic. Hey, instead of using a tiger one, the young one, can you just use a moxa You could. Uh, the thing about a moxa stick is it's really, it's going to get very large area. And it's going to be way too hot, in my opinion. You know, but it will do something. Yeah, well, they like, I mean, I like the idea, they like the idea of it. You know, now they have, I mean, but, you know, they like press stacks too. I mean, it's like they, I'm taking it with me sort of thing. So, yeah, you can use magnets. The use of magnets, though, is a little bit complicated, in a sense, okay? If, you if you're leaving magnets on a person, 
Well, first of all, there's controversy now about which is really the North and which is the South. So you're already like, well, am I really doing the right thing? But also, if you're using, if you're using just two points, two immune points, you could do North and North, and that's fine. But if you now have a th another point you want to leave, first of all, do not mix magnets and press stacks. You know, in, in, the, in the same patient, because they're carrying it for a few days. So, you know, it's okay to have needles and, and magnets for 20 minutes, but you can't, you know, um, one, when they're with it the whole time, you, don't, you want, don't want metal in the body and magnet outside the body, number one. Number two, you, um, once you have more than, two, more than one point or one on each side, which, you know, you have to balance the north and south ideologies, you know, and then you're getting it, that, it, that can become problematic. Okay, so the, the it, it, I mean it's not problematic, but you you ne need to oh, think. So, sorry. Well, okay. So if you have two points on the same channel, it should go north to south, with the south getting the higher numbered point. Okay, because the flow goes from north to south with magnets. And then on the other hand, if you have so I mean you never leave more than eight magnets on a person to begin with, but so. And then you have things that are not on the same channel, but are they on a yin-yang uh, you know, situation? Are they both on a yin channel? Then you can combine them as if it's one channel, even though one is Shao yin and one is tai yin. That's okay, still treat it as if, you know, so you have all these calculations to make. And then if th there's no relationship in the channels, primary point gets the north, secondary point gets the south. Okay, so there's just more um, calculations to be done with um, with, mag with leaving magnets on, that's all. But they're very effective. In fact, um, so I have a patient who just called me just before I left, um, and she said um, she came originally for um, headaches and high blood pressure, and it's been like two years since I've, um, I've treated her, but I gave her magnets, um, but I gave her like the ones with the nipple, with the gold thing, um, because, you know, this way she can have them. And, you know, if you give them the tiny magnets, the hand magnets, which I usually use uh, on, for, ho for homework, they can, as long as it's on the skin, they can use it, and then it's gone. And they're cheap, and that's fine. I don't care. You know, it goes away in three days in the shower. That's fine. But um, the, big, the bigger ones that are kind of more expensive, I ask them to keep them, you know, and first of all, they can identify the north, you know, which with the other ones they can't. And secondly, they can, with their own tape, keep putting it. So she called a few days ago and she said, you know, my, she's, she's been using it under the third toe and she said, my blood pressure has been really good for, you know, now for two years. And I've just had a, an episode of low blood pressure. And so I took it off immediately, and she, so she's going to find out where, where to put the, you know, like exactly where she's supposed to put it, because she forgot. Okay, so magnets are really effective. Um, you know, they're definitely worth doing. Um, so, you know, if you just do third point, it's not a problem, north and north. But if you're doing under third toe, say, with immune, now you have to decide, well, there's no relationship in the channel, so you can do whatever you want, which is my primary, is under... Am I concerned with blood pressure? Or am I concerned with immune more? Whichever I'm concerned with more will get the north. Okay? But if you want to say it's blood pressure, you're saying spleen six, spleen nine. Spleen six is north. Spleen nine is south. Okay? From north to south with the flow of the channel. When, when they come on the first, is it last, on the last, last of us? Sorry? When what? On the last of us. Is it normally not north which could go to the skin? Wait, uh, the elasto. Yeah, they they, they, they come on the stuck plaster, and you can't tell which is which. Is it is is it the north which is? The Supposedly, problem? when you peel it off, the north is supposed to be facing. You know, if you peel it on and put it on as as directed, it's north facing skin. That's what they claim. But then they claim that that's not really true. And then people are talking about true biological biological north and true north and blah blah and blah blah and I. It's, uh, you know, I, that's why, I, what I do is one magnet goes the way it is, the other one I take, flip, and put on, you know, if I want the opposite side, and if it's north, it's north, it's south, it's south. It's like, I can't control what the company did. I'm not going to check, I mean, I'm not going to check every magnet with, 
with a horseshoe, <laughs> Magritte. It's just not realistic. I find they're really great for sending hands to people who have got sea scar pain or something, get them to put them across, you know, or they've had a multiple ripping in, in the skull. Oh, 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 well. Yeah, and, and you can, you know, they, they take them at home for a few. Yeah, yeah. And well, and for that, actually, you could, you, you know, especially the sternum, you know, you can, there are actually bigger magnets, you know, they're actually even magnets that are this size, you know, like, yeah, that, you know, they're, they're flat, and they're like this size. And, you know, but at that point, it kind of doesn't matter north side. I mean, you, it's just good to flip them around just so you get more, <coughs> you don't want north, 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 you want north, south, north, south, north, yeah. Um, but and do you do uh, dyed rings or uh, with aluminum foil on it before? Uh, whether in the clinic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. And I was just checking. That's all. All right. With magnets, did you do you have this? You know, this whole idea of um, with the channel, as you say, mm -hmm. the north being closer to the beginning and the south closer to the end. Yeah. Exactly to the end. But oh, the, I heard what? that in, if it's a deficient thing, then you have that, but if it's an excess thing, you have the opposite. Okay, the north is tonifying, and the, the, the sorry, the south is tonifying, the north is reducing. That, that's, you know, you know, that as a general principle. Uh, but that's generally why we put north on pain, but we also put north on the main point. So, so yeah. You don't really bother with that. Like I said, I can't even always tell which is north and which is south. As long so you put north to the beginning of the channel. Or what I think is north. Yeah. <laughs> you know? um, the, the other, that's why I try, if I do magnets, I try, because there's so much, I try to just do two yeah. and, and not combine more. Um, or, not, or not do two on the channel. Now, there's also methods of magnets. You can stimulate a point by doing one in front of the point and one, you know, north in front of the point, south uh, past the point to encourage the flow in that point, rather than just putting one magnet on. So there's many ways to, you know, magnets supposedly work best with either long distance between them or very short distance between them. Stomach 41, spleen 5 is a good distance, okay? Um, say spleen 6, spleen 9 is like, eh, not such a fabulous distance. Okay, better, you know, I, it will be better if the, it was like across the whole body with magnets. Okay, so either rel very short, you know, on the, on, in the same place, one next to the other, or totally long. But, you know, just across one limb is not a great use of magnet. Okay, yes. You said if you were putting a mu on both sides of your north, and then third toe. Well, that's where it's going to be. Why not have a north? Is there a rationale Well, because too much, like too much north sort of thing. You, you, want, you want to depolarize, you know, you, you want to create opposition. Um, so that's where it gets to be problematic because we say the main point should be north. Well, maybe they're both main points. So, but you definitely maybe want... Yeah, yeah, if they had pain on one, yeah. So you, with magnets, you have to think a lot more. If it's press deck, it's just bang, bang, you know, a little tape over it, and bye-bye, you know. So I, I do leave some magnets on, but not a huge amount. Um, so the main point was north, and the, but the most painful point was... Okay, if... Wait, 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 hold on. It's two different styles at that point. Okay, main point is north, less important point is south because we think that the north stimulates stronger since you, you, we don't want everything north, something has to be south to create more of a polarity, then the secondary point is going to get less stimulation by having the south on it, so that's okay. But um, the most more painful north, that's when you're putting, you have pain here, I'll put a magnet on and let's hope that it goes away. Pain goes with north. Okay, but if you're talking about treatment point, not Asher points, if you're talking about treatment points, then it's north to south, either north, the more important point, south to less important point, or north to south if it's on the same meridian. Okay, you want to do adrenal... Just on north, then, you know, and then... I think you'll be fine with just... Okay, if you wanted to do kidney 627, you yeah. want to do adrenal with magnets. Yeah. Kidney 6 is north, kidney yeah. 27 is south. Yeah. Okay. 
if you knee want pain. if you're doing knee pain you want to put a magnet on the knee okay. the magnet you put on the knee should be north okay. what Lawrence is doing he says there's a scar mm -hmm. since he doesn't have one big north magnet he puts north south north south north south because he just put north 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 because it's pain and because they're still individual magnets they're still creating each of a different field that's not as good as putting north south north south north south and also, there's a replace. It's it's the energy is going to repel one of the other, isn't it, between the magnets? <coughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but wait a second. Be, you'll see them go. Well, they won't. They won't be pushing one over, another away. Would they? Listen. Like energy they come one to another. No, no, no. Listen. This is north and this is south. Yeah. Okay. North, north. North. North, south. Doesn't yeah. matter how you do it. There's the the repelling. They're still in the same distance. The fact that it's north north, they're not going to repel each other more than if they're like this. Right. Yeah. Th that that isn't. I don't think that that they're physically going to push each other away they, if they're all both they, facing the same way. They do. They do. From my experience, when I was about eight. When they're on, on the skin. No 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 no. On the skin. If okay. Yeah, look, no, no, north they're north they're versus north away. south. Okay. North north, they're not going to go like. I don't believe they'll go like this. I don't have the experience. Ver or versus, you see the distance between north and, I, mean, I see what you're saying, that they're facing a different, I don't know. Yeah, I, I just make the, the I'm sure I've been messing up, because I have a, a stack of ones that I've got from um, Korean Africa, Korean agriculture. Yeah, yeah. And it's, they're quite, they're very strong. And you can put them like that and they'll flip, flip over. Oh yes, so yes, yes, yes. They attraction. Yeah, they do, but when you're yeah. putting them on a the skin and they're taped on the skin, yeah. they're not going to move with the then, tape. But there's and then still that like, energy, isn't there? There, there, will be, there will be a yeah. energy. Okay. All right. If you, I, I don't... I mean, but I have seen magnets um, kind of like... <laughs> All aligned into, into north, south, north, south, north, yeah. south. You know, mm. totally spontaneously. Yeah. You know, um, because they fell off the tape. I have seen that phenomenon, but I'm not sure if, mm. as long as there's tape on the skin, I think they're probably okay. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm just not sure why when they're. F I, I don't know. I don't have a clarity on that. You don't want a magnet that's too strong. Yeah, 800 pounds. Um, you know, when you're sending them home, when you're in the clinic. You're treating them with a magnet in the clinic, which is very rare nowadays because we used to have this magnet, steam, you know, an electric steam machine that would, you can hook to a magnet and it would vibrate the magnet. Um, but it's not no longer available, the ETO F3 pointer. Okay? Um, so if you're treating in the clinic, you can use higher gauss. You know, 3,000, 6,000, you know, 12,000, I don't know what they're made of. But at home, you want six or 800 gauss. You know, because they're carrying it all the time. Okay, so, so if you have magnets that are just like really strong, that's not something to send a patient home with. Mm. So. Even if you've got like a painful shoulder and you put one of these, what's it, just if, in that place? So that's the other, so yeah. that you can put possibly, a, yeah. a, a, you know, if it's just one, you could do yeah. a higher, but you're better off with slightly lower, you know, go, I would go safer, personally. When you say yeah. putting them close together for a painful shoulder, for example, you put uh -huh. the, North on the most painful, and then and the south point. next to it. How, how, how pretty close, within pretty. an inch. Oh, okay. Yeah. And does it matter about channels and things? Do you try and get on a channel, or just go for that spot? Go for the spot. Yeah. And then, so now the another thing with pain is if you know that there's a certain point that releases the pain. Say you have shoulder the sh deltoid pain, you decide to put north here. You can maybe put south on UB forty two forty three because it released it. So you, you, you can play. Okay. Can I ask about um, yes. Moxa? Ivy, is there a specific like healing quality of Moxa that goes into the body or is it just a convenient sort of like, substance in terms of combustion? I believe that Moxa has a conductivity of the heat and that's why it's um, that's why we you know it, it somehow penetrates. Certain substances pen penetrate and some don't. So, you know, they can be the center. Okay, so if you take this chair and put it in the freezer and, and sit on it, or put it in the oven either way, and you sit on it, it'll be either hot or cold depending on whether it was in the oven or the freezer. But if you take um, a stone and put it in the oven or the freezer for the same amount of time, then you sit on the stone, 
you're going to feel the heat or the cold much stronger and much more inside you. This you sit on it and your buttocks is going to go, oh, hot or oh, cold. But a stone, you sit on it and you're going to go, whoa, inside it. It, it just, it, it permeates much mm. further in. And I think that somehow the moxa has the capacity of permeating. You know. Now, the moxa that we're using is not, um, is really just the wool. You know, some plants, some leaves have wool that grows on them. So what we're using is the wool. It's not the, not the twigs, not the leaves, no nothing, just the wool. That's why it has a totally different color, you know, than the Chinese. The Chinese pick up the whole plant and then they just grind it. So you get, you know, literally twigs and end leaves together and some wool. The, this moxa, basically they took that and then they centrifuge it. Okay, so the fluffy, the, whatever is fluffier is going to fall further away. So the wool is going to, that's how you sep separate the wool from the leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we to put you on the, oh, you have Sandra 16. Okay, let's have you walk around and test you now, and then we'll put you face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It takes your time. More flexible. Uh -huh. I mean, I can lift it up with, with, okay. with, with it, how it feeling so weighty, uh -huh. it's thick. Um, it's still a bit tender. Tell you what has cleared up. Uh -huh. I came today with a bit of a cold. Uh -huh. It's gone. Yeah, well. <laughs> feeling, no, feeling, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Feeling the yeah. All right. So yeah. still. Um, There's still pain there. There's still pain. Yeah. So, same amount as before. It's a movable well, feast anyway. Say. I know. It's a movable feast anyway, though. Uh -huh. you, 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 well, it just depends. Yeah, yeah. You, you, it when depends you catch on it. what okay. you catch it. You know? Okay, um, let's put your face down and see what more you can do. Question If you bend your knee here, is, is there any pain? Can you produce pain? Say again, please. If you bend the knee. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there was. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I mean, I'm wondering if I twist it or something. Okay. Is there pain? That was okay. Okay. It's a, the first time I do something when it's been yeah, stable yeah, for yeah, a while, yeah, it's worse. Yeah. Okay. And it's usually at the, you know when the leg is absolutely straight? Uh -huh. It's at the beginning of the motion, the to movement, that, that I will feel the pain. Yeah. As I get past that, it's yeah. not so bad. Right. You, is that uncomfortable where it is? It's fine, we can put it there. Yeah. And it's, which delta it is? It this, is one. this one. Okay. Does that suggest anything at the beginning of the movement? Like, I get patients with that with their shoulder, that the yeah, knee's just like... Um, it's very hard to know. It's something, it, it, it's, um, it's possibly a lubrication of the joint. Mm. You know, because once, the, once there's been movement and flow in there, it, it, they, they can keep going. Mm. So, you yeah, know, very hard to know. So. Any discomfort here? No five? Um, not, no, not really. A little. <laughs> Sorry. A little is good enough. <laughs> uh, Where? There. That's this one? Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, sacroiliac is called bending stretching. I, I use lots for knees. How's that? Good. It's okay. So I'm just checking in and it's L5, that's all. Is there any thickening or any, any odd feeling on the... Um, on his? No, the sacred iliac is relatively okay. And how about on the crests? Hmm? Do you get crests? Oh, you don't like... It, at the top, like the immune yeah, part or immune under? Uh, for the immune, for, for indicating immune problems. No. Okay. So sacred iliac was bending, lifting, did you say? For bending, stretching. Bending, the knees stretching. bending and stretching, right? That's what, that's um, the point you just put in, sorry. Yeah, sacroiliac, mm -hmm. yeah. I know it looks very wide. Okay. And do you see how he has like a bump here? That's around sugar points. Mm. Right? It's raised here. Okay. Raised along? Mm. Along this way. C c come on over. Tim, yes. like your chocolate. You'll be glad to know I've got out. 
<laughs> he just cut out. Yeah, no, show well, points well, still well, showing. Oh, yeah. About yeah. two seconds ago. No, well, about <laughs> ten days. Do you see how, you know, this is a flat and then there's a little mountain here. Yeah. Okay, that's not a joke. Right, thank you. Okay. So, oops. Yeah. Okay, somebody wants to, you have to press a little bit harder than maybe usual, but if you just slide down, you'll feel like there's, you, you went over like some um, chewing gummy something. It's on this side and you, I'm pressing towards this side. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like there's something, something like a drop there? Yeah. Yeah. Are these level so with particular vertebrae or are they? Uh, it's a T11 that oh. I believe that okay. thing. So you're on the Chewing water? Gum, or I'm on the water. Yeah. Just slide down. So that's the right sugar. Right here you'll feel like there's, mm -hmm. it's as if you, you, you got split off, right? Yeah. Do you feel it? Press it towards the spine so I can. Yeah? yeah. Is that, that still the sugar that you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Just a few bits in relation to the mm -hmm. hair. Fashion. No, it's in relation to the sleep. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. Can we try it last time? That side, that's how I, I don't know if it exists. Oh, yeah. That, that um, weird thing. It feels, uh, each time you slide, uh, or anybody else is sliding, it feels as if it's being scratched rather than. It's probably getting sore. No, no, I mean, it's a very, very distinct. Um, more like a nail than You're on this pad. right now. So I wanted you to be on, on this side. Yeah. Yeah, it feels more hollow now, but not because yeah, yeah, people have been pressing. But there, there's still that weird, you know, you're, you're pressing and then suddenly you're on something like almost like slippery and then you kind of slide off it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, that's like extra tissue that's attached to the vertebrae. Just in this point here? Yeah. yeah. And you needle into that. I will close Are you okay? On the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just, so sorry, what if you tested that against, Darby? You just needle it because it showed sugar response? Because it showed, but also because T11, T12, is, well, I, because I looked at it and he has this, you know, little hump there. Yeah. Okay, so I'm interested in flattening it out. And I'm doing it because also um, T11, T12 can relate to the strength of the quad. Okay. 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 Uh, I'm going to lift you like just, no, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. No. I mean, that's why it hurt. Okay, so it did hurt. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure it happens again. Hurt? No. Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep... Okay. Tell me when there's a, a pain or discomfort. Um, now. Okay. So, ar around here. I'm holding you like you don't have to hold okay. it. Okay. How's now? Let me do it. Better. Better. Okay. T11, 12 is good. Or, oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. It's okay. Or the UB line, or U, UB20, is good for, you know, for when they can stretch the quad. Okay. So, let me. So, when you say, are you needling the bottom or something? Right now, I needle the water, and now I'm going to do the UB20 also, if I can find it. So I don't want to overdo it for him, but often people, it, it's at the end when, when you try and bring the, you know, the foot towards the, the buttocks. And by doing UB20, they can, they can go much further. Okay. Um, sorry. Abby, do you know why T11 or T12 release the quad? No. <laughs> I mean, supposedly spleen stomach, stomach line. Uh, sure. You know, but um, but I don't have a, a any clearer explanation. Then we wanted to do fourteen, and we wanted to do the. Okay, so this is part of immune. Oh, you do do fourteen and quarter. Yeah. Is that what you always do? 
If, if immune is a big deal, I add to 14 Watto. I can either even add T3 Watto. But you don't do it in but the You don't the actually do, do 14. Oh, no. Usually, I generally do Wattos much more than I do. Do. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I do not do the do, generally speaking. Do, 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 do. I tend to do, do, do the, 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 the Wattos. Um, do, do, does the... Um, is this releasing the, because um, we had a test point, didn't we, on the, on the arm? Deltoid. Deltoid, yeah. The de yeah, no, the deltoid is going to be UE4243. Okay. So, what was the second batch of patterns? Sorry, I missed. Uh, T3, T3, you know, it, uh, it's called uh, Pillar of the Body, Shenzhou. Okay. Um, so, it's kind of uh, part, of, you know, we, we say it's related to the thymus. Not that lung related in any way. Ah, uh, you can say that, you know, you, yeah, like it's on the same level, so in that sense. Um, okay, so how's, where's the delta problem? Uh, more posterior there. Oh. It, it's not, sorry, it, it, there's no palpatory no, pain, okay. but, but that's where the pain will come. Okay, I'm just trying to see if I can get something. No. no. And since I can't verify, I'll do a number of them. What are you doing? No, just make it on you the be 42, 43, yeah. Oh. Um, towards the sky. Because for the delta, it's mostly, I, I can't quite confirm that it's working because I can't produce. So I'll do, I'll do more than one, that's all. And then I'll do slightest and night in. Are you comfortable? Yes. All right. Why, why is more testing than anything? For shoulder, for most shoulder. Yeah. 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 Or, or almost any shoulder thing, unless they have pain here, then you can't do all this. You know, I, I use my test and I do. So. All right. Shall we continue with our review? <laughs> We said 19, and then we between 9 and 10. I do one halfway between 10. Oh, so this is this, this is a halfway. No, 9, yeah, I was going to say. No, no, no. So I'm just in like 9, 9 towards 10. 9 and a half. 9 and a half. So it's not there, it's all it's just in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In between, it's between the two. All right. So we did the arm. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Did <laughs> you use um, heart, the kind of funny heart seven for constipation? I think it has a very cute name. You know, but other, other than the fact that it's, we call it sick then, I don't find it terribly effective, personally. It's also meant for, I mean, it's meant for a very particular kind of constipation. It's meant for concept, for the people who are constipated. Like, you know, some people like if they're not at home, they're constant. They're traveling somewhere. They're constipated. Well, how many of those people are constipated when they come to your office? So unless you're yeah. treating a tourist, you know who's I constipated. That. I suffer from that. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's okay. But, um, yeah. So it's, it's not generally. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's fine for you know. So for you, you you can put a press tag or whatever when you know you're traveling or something. But you know, in terms of treating, um, we generally treat people who are not traveling. They're usually living where where in the area that you you're treating them. So you know, it's very hard to evaluate success with with that. So, but yeah, on yourself, you know, you definitely could. Okay, so it's it's between okay. The idea is it's between heart seven and small intestine five. So it's you know, or it's it's a place where some TCM people go in f to heart seven from this side. So that's the place, and then it's kind of on the tendon. Um, and we need that, f so you know, for constipation that's psych more psychologically induced. So the name of the point is called SIG. Man. 
So the signifying both the sigma, the both, instead of shenmen, it's become sigmen. You know, and you can decide whether it represents sigmoid or sig sigmond or sigmoid, <laughs> depending on your outlook on it. It can be dramatic. Sorry? I, did, I used it only once on a patient who had said it was quite yeah. overweight and it had yeah. terrible constipation. Mm -hmm. She came back the next week and said, it was wonderful. I got home and I sat on the loo for about two hours and it was bliss. <laughs> she was happy. She just went, oh, well, <laughs> now, you, now all you need to do is, yeah, now what you need to do is send her to some electrician who will hook speakers and a television, <laughs> you know, so she can really be blissful. <laughs> I mean, you were going to explain um, she's blood right, left side. Oh, okay. So, generally speaking, most people think that left side is young and right side, and so right side is young, therefore chi, and left side is yin, and therefore blood. Okay? But, um, well, I don't know if they're wrong, it just, it, it doesn't make full sense on some level, because, um, and, and because women who are more uh, prone to blood issues tend to show things on the right side, so suddenly we're going to say, well, are women young? I mean, you know, the whole theory is that, you know, women are supposed to be more yin, you know. So, we, we have to look at these definitions and, and look at what in the body is going to go up and what's going to go down. So. The young meridians, the young meridians like the bladder meridian, do what? They move down. Mm -hmm. Correct? Yep. Okay. The yin meridians, they do what? They move up. Okay. So that's going to tell us what. It's going to look sound a little weird because we think of things that are yin sink and things that are yang are going to move upwards. Yeah. And here you see that in the body it's actually different, and the reason why is that the yang is moving down. So I need to look for something else that moves down to represent yang. Why? Because the person mediates between heaven, yang, and earth. It came from yang, from heaven, and it's moving towards yin. That's what yang is. Yang is not, it's not yang is moving towards yang. Yang is, if it's yang, it now its job is to move towards yin. And yin comes from the earth, and its job is to move towards the yang. Okay, that's the interaction of yin yang. Okay, so in the body, where are we going to find yin and yang? That this movement, movement up and movement down. In the intestine, you have a movement up across and down, okay, and there's clear sides to it, okay. So because of that, we're saying the right side looks like it's moving with the yin meridians, it moves up, okay. So therefore, we say right side is blood and yin, and the left side is qi and yang, okay. So that's why we, you know, it seems like kind of counter, mm -hmm. um, you know, because when you take pulses on the left side, these are the blood signs, you know, these are the blood pulses, supposedly, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And you have the qi pulses, you know, the spleen and the lung are on the right side, you know? So you can take different theories and still apply them. Um, so it's just, our idea is that the left side is the qi side and the right side is the blood side. But when it comes to the pulse, we still think of the left as being, uh, as you said, uh, blood yes. side. Yeah. And if it's weak, we think about nourishing blood. Uh, and the, the right side is, is uh, totally fine, yeah, uh, chi. And Would yeah. be more young. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I, it's, it's true that you can't, um, it's not going to work on anything, but the hand, the arm, is not part of the torso. Yeah. In other words, um, so, you know, it, it, it doesn't mean that, you know, the theory of left and right for something is not going to be totally different for something else. So in the pulse, it still remains that the left side is yin and the right side is yang. But, but in the torso, some, and yeah, go ahead. Some courses are actually saying that, that uh, in pulses, the, uh, I need to think about this, the, 
the left, right side is blood, and, and because of, I, think, I don't know whether it's because of what you just said mm -hmm. about the torso, that they utilise it also in the pulse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, I don't really do all that stuff in the pulse. I'm, I'm, I'm basically looking, at, first of all, you see, generally I only take the left side pulse. Because I'm on the left side, that's all I need. I'm not that um, um, sophisticated. You know, that I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not looking for each organ and blah, blah. I don't have this capacity. I don't have that knowledge or capacity to be able to, to differentiate in the pulse. And here in the liver pulse, I'm finding this and that. And here in the blood, you know, I, I'm looking for the general quality of the pulse. That's pretty much all I'm doing with pulses. So it's very um, different. I almost never take this, the pulse on the right side. Yeah. But not for stomach chew, is that, do, you, do you use the pulse for stomach chew? Yeah, I do. Well, that's a quality, that's not, that's not a position. Uh, I, thought, I, thought, I thought that was on the right, but... No, it's on the right. No, no, stomach chew will be both sides, well, should be both sides, and I don't, I can't tell you should because I don't have the experience. Stomach chews, I can definitely feel it on the left, it's like a, it, it pushes up against you and it has no, uh, no slipperiness, no, no flow to it. Okay, just go <coughs> towards your fingers. It doesn't move towards lung ten. Okay. Okay. So and that you, you just, but the you can certainly feel that the pulse, which is kind of not really there. You often find it on the right. What do you mean the pulse that's not really there? You can barely, barely feel it. Um, but but that's not a stomach. Yeah. Well, yeah, 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 that's not a stomach cheek pulse. That's a weak part. I mean, okay, the pulse is supposed to have three qualities. But you can, is it especially in the centre position, the kind of typical stomach spleen? Depends. Keep Very much depends on the pulse. Keeper talks about it in her books, you know, as a second test for the stomach chair, yeah. is that the spleen pulse would disappear. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay. Pressure, okay. Yeah. That's different. Yeah. yeah, but wait a second. No, no, hold on. The one where the spleen position disappears is stomach chair plus spleen three, in my opinion. That's not a pure stomach chain. That would be my se my sense of it, but I, I don't want to speak for what you know what what that, officially it says. Book, Sorry. No, I think that is what it says in the book. Yeah, I can't I can't vouch for it, but that's my sense of it. Um, I stomach chain for me is the is that point because strength is a different proposition. The pulse is supposed to have depth. Uh, shen or root, shen and stomach chi. Okay, um, so the strength, the strength of it, is not all that related to um, to, to to the stomach chi. Because okay. otherwise they would have said if, if they so could very easily have said strength. Yeah. You know, and then the, nobody would have had all these problems. What the hell, stomach chi? <laughs> so it's what one that doesn't move then, basically. It's the, yeah. It's you feel the pulse, but it's just moving. What the feeling of it is, tuk, tuk, like tuk, tuk, as opposed to. Okay. There's no slippery qualities, basically, you know, mm -hmm. to it. There's no movement for you. Don't feel movement. Now the pulses you can feel moving backwards. Okay, there are pulses that you will feel as if it's moving this way mm -hmm. instead of that way. It's totally possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, so the backwards thing is not stomach chi pulse. It's literally up. Okay. okay. And you know that it's moving in this direction. <laughs> you know, it's it, it's just the feel of it is that it's not moving in that direction. Okay. Okay. Leg points. <coughs> okay. So and then yeah, we, we should stop. Sorry, one, one last thing about, so do you hold the three fingers and feel the pulse moving this way, or are you just focusing on uh, one? I'm feeling with all three, but no, I'm not, that's a whole different trick, to feel if a pulse moves from this one to this one to this one, or the other way around, is very, no, I'm feeling per, per finger. I'm not in. I'm not doing it in between the fingers for the stomach chi situation. Yeah. I'm not looking to see has the pulse moved from my uh, ring finger towards my middle finger towards my index finger. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm not doing that. I am only doing. Yeah, it's per. You know, in each finger, am I feeling a movement 
let's say just this one for the sake of it, am I feeling a movement going this way under okay. my finger or am I just feeling a movement going this way? Okay. And I might feel that quality in all three of them or I might feel it in two, one or two. Okay. Um, the business about whether a pulse is moving from one finger to another is relating the movement between the organs that you're checking, say between the kidney, the liver and the heart. Okay. or the kidney, the spleen, and the, lip, the lung. Okay, That's different. And with that, if you're checking that, then you can press on one and see if the next the one that you want to see, if it's feeling it, if the next one gets stronger mm -hmm. or not. If not, then it means those two organs are not going to be communicating. In other words, you want to see, is liver blood nourishing kid, the, the heart? Okay, So you press them on the wrong side. But yeah. yeah, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> so, is liver blood nourishing the heart? I press on the liver, and is, if my heart got stronger, or his heart got stronger, then it means that liver blood is willing to nourish heart blood. But if it isn't, they can't communicate. Okay, so, so the, the method you're talking about is, is a little bit different. Um, then the, the stomach chi is like each finger on its own. Okay, thanks. Okay, leg points? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's start. Okay, let's start with Shao Chi. <laughs> the bumps along the, the shin. Make sure it's on the stomach channel, not on the second stomach channel. In other words, it's going to touch the bone. And originally, we started using this literally just for the That was the original, um, you know, um, use of stomach chi was for knee pain, and then came the knee pain. pain. Okay, and then, like I said, because then the <coughs> stomach 41 sort of overtook that. Now, st stomach chi in general, original stomach chi for Nagano apparently was stomach 41. And then he said, oh, how come people have all these bumps? And how come there's no points here? It's supposed to be the Sea of Chang, right? Mm -hmm. So there should be, you know, it just doesn't make sense to have half the shin with no points. So he said, okay, that's stomach chi. And that correlates to the kind of pulse that he called lacking stomach chi pulse. Okay. Uh, stomach chi you can also use for uh, to release REN12. You can use it for that kind of pulse, for knee pain, uh, and for neuropathies. So those are the kind of main usages for stomach chi. Can I just, uh, just to make sure I've understood, yeah. you, you, you go uh, uh, along a certain area of the lower bit of the shin and you identify a point and then... You identify bumps, bumps yeah. <clears throat> along the way. I'm still, I tend to take it below stomach 40, but you know, some people mm -hmm. take it from stomach 36 down. Mm -hmm. I tend to go a little lower mm -hmm. than stomach 36. You know, partially because I have an aversion to stomach 36. <laughs> so, no, no, you know, so I, I, I go, you know, ra rather than go reach. from here, I'll start here <laughs> and, and check, mm -hmm. check the bumps. Would you use, say, three on each side? <coughs> Sorry? Three on each side. Okay, how many there's going to be, how many bumps? It can be multiple bumps. Okay, so you need all the bumps. No, or you can't. All, no. all the so key what, bumps. So you need all the ones that are going to make an effect. So you start, you start with the top one. Okay, you needle it, uh, or you press it, you can check the pulse. That's when I'm relatively confident with the pulse, mm -hmm. that it changes blood. But you want to see if it changes things in the body. And then you needle that one, then you, you what you want to do is, can I have someone on this table? Is this, is this, am I, would I be able to absorb this without knowing what a stomach cheek pulse is? Um, would you be able to tell the difference in the pulse? No, no, I mean, is this something that I can understand? Practically, stomach chi without without with without the pulse. Without the yeah. Pulse, yeah. Um, so, uh, okay. um, without the pulse, it's a little bit harder because then you have you only have symptoms like knee pain yeah. and um, um, you know neuropathy. There's not a lot of other options. You know, there's not like clear symptoms for stomach chi, except oh, you have or to the suddenly stomach or REN12 if they have. Okay, so you can try stomach chi. So he actually doesn't have. You have few, but not a big deal. But let's say, yeah, actually you have. So let's say he has the first one here, the, the second one here, and the third one here. I press and I make sure something changed in the abdomen. I put the needle in, now I have a needle here. If I now press this down like that, there's a needle, 
this needle is going to get full and it's going to hurt. Okay. So what I do is I put my finger below the needle, and now mm -hmm. I continue. I I can I can't do it with the <coughs> you know the same intensity, but I can more likely check for the next pump. Check if it's effective needle. And you, you needle have into three, the bump. Uh, you needle into the bump from just above the bump. Mm -hmm. And there's controversies about do you needle into the bump, above the bump, at the center of the bump, do you needle into the valley below it? I do above the bump. That's you know all I can say about it. Um, and you can needle three of them. Now let's say there's more and you feel like you can get more mileage out of it. Okay? So what you do is you you can take the top one away and put a, a fourth one below, but you don't want more than three or maximum four needles in stomach gene. There's a limit to how many needles you can have. Okay? And the, the stomach gene on the pulse, how would I sort of learn what I is? When I find one, you just bear that description in mind mm -hmm. that it just go, it pecks into your fingers and it has no movement. But it's not a, what, what we would call a pounding pulse or a, a No, pounding pulse. has a strength. The stomach chi has nothing to do with strength. Oh, okay. It can, it, it's, it's literally, it's a, mo it's a movement quality um, and not, it can be stronger or weaker. It's, you know, a pounding is basically, my, I believe, is... is bum, bum, yeah, but, but it's a strong, there's a strength to it. Mm -hmm. This may be very weak. Okay. What it's lacking is, it's lacking a wave quality. Okay. Now, a wiry pulse also lacks a wave. Uh, oh, not a wiry, but a tight pulse, because wiry is an excess pulse. Mm. Those uh, tight pulses also lack a wave, but they move. It's, it's one piece that moves towards lung nine. Okay, you feel a movement forward, um, and you don't feel it just going up towards you. What you feel is a sharpness underneath your finger, moving towards lung nine. That's a tight pulse. And a stomach chi pulse is you're not feeling that movement mm -hmm. forward. It's just that. And you're not feeling a rollingness. You're just feeling tsk, 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 with each beat. Whereas wiry is not z. Wiry is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Let's see where you're at. Yeah. I, 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 found, I found that um, just, just by doing any pulse and massaging the stomach chi lines, you can really. Bring the pulse up, yeah, 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 yeah. You can make the pulse stronger or more defined by massaging or, or pressing REN12, which is, would be the, the standard Japanese me method of doing it. So let's have you sit up and see where you're at. Okay. So when you've got pain in REN12 mm -hmm. and, and the stomach chi works, mm -hmm. um, do you then needle REN12? If you have to, you could. I would try not to, and maybe wait for next time. So in other words, let's say they have back pain, and you, you think red twelve is really gonna be good for that. Uh, I'd rather. That's it. Yeah. How much better? Um, considerably better than the, when I got off on you. I got back. it on my back. Okay. A um, little, little twinge, but you know, at the moment that's. Okay. Let's put better. you face up once more, just for a second. <coughs> So I, I'll show you the, the I talked yesterday about it. <laughs> <laughs> so how many sessions would you consider for him to be considered? How much money does he have? Retired, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, me. Mm. Told you, stingy Tim. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you have to wake wake up the pocket book. I don't know how many sessions is impossible to tell. Mm. You know, you work with people for as long as it's beneficial for them. Yeah. And you do know, you treat you them weekly? I treat generally weekly until, you know, like, depends on what it is. Stomach 34, spleen 9, mm -hmm. just, just to give him a little bit of... Uh, spleen 10. Spleen 10, sorry. Thank you. My system is obviously kind of off. Um, to, to give him a lift there to kind of... Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is... Sometimes, ah, oh, yeah, here, right? Mm, that's okay. For a lot of knee pain, 
Uh, you can find it between some of the 30. Hmm? This one? Twitch, the body. Okay, hold on one second. For a lot of knee pain, you can find between stomach 31 and stomach 32. Even if it's something. medial, I and mean, this is. Even uh, if it's what? Medial. It's on the inside. This yeah, yeah, it doesn't thing. matter. Mm. Because you try. For a lot of knee pain, you need to actually get the quad to be stronger. You basically want to, well, for most of you, you want to release the tensor pressure ladder, which we cannot do with acupuncture as far as I know. Uh, okay. yeah. um, but you get them you to You can't just go thinking think, think all the way down. Well, you probably could, but, yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't have the, um, the patience. Uh, no, I just give, I tell them to get a foam roller yeah. and roll on it. You know, I'd much rather do that. Um, <clears throat> So that is 31, is it? No. no, that's much more towards 32. Anywhere between 31 and 32, and you'll find like a, you know, something there to activate the quad, and this is like a lift for the quad. And do you lift as you put those ones in, or yeah, you're, just, I'm, you're I'm just pointing see, them up? I'm pointing them upwards. That's yeah, but you're not actually lifting the muscle and then no, it no, as no. a lift. Yeah, yeah, okay. no, 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 no. I'm not trying to step <coughs> the muscle from the bone. I'm trying to get the muscle to move upwards. So what very common in knee pain is weak quads and overly tight tensor fascia lata. Mm -hmm. So you want to strengthen the quad and release the tensor fascia lata so the tensor fascia lata is not constantly pulling on the knee. But you can only release the tensor fascia lata um, with the foam. As far as I, me personally, the way method I release it is, is by telling you to do the foam roll. Just as a point, it's quite difficult to use the foam roller in shoulders and Yeah. You to, 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 to tell you right, it's a little it's, harder. It's, it's, yeah. You, you yeah. activate the pain here as well. As okay. The, I mean, so, they do do that. Oh, oh okay. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize the shoulder was this bad. <laughs> well, it depends on shoulder. Yeah, yeah. I okay. use it. Okay. So a friend of mine, t one of my colleagues tells me, put, because also a lot of women don't like to do the foam roller lying down because mm. they, they feel like they that can't paddle <laughs> back and forth. So she tells them to go against the wall mm. and put the foam roller here and do like this. It's not as effective because mm. you don't have anywhere near as much weight. You, you can't push your weight against the wall this way. Um, you know, whereas on the floor, you have your whole weight on your leg. So well, Or massage specifically for that. Mm. I mean, some, someone could just work on that as a body worker. Yeah, you could. I mean, you know, tense pressure line is extreme. I mean, there's a reason why everybody likes the foam roller. Mm. Because it's, it, it's very hard to get into the tense pressure line with massage. And mm. it really is, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. So the foam roller is really very effective. Yeah. I was just wondering how uh, this slightly different thing, but the piriformis releasing point. Oh, yeah. How do you actually locate it? Go about a 31, mm. two fingers behind. Needle that. <coughs> okay, the needle disappeared. Oh. Sorry. Yep. Goblet of 31, two fingers behind, two fingers above. Okay, so behind meaning towards the bladder channel, mm -hmm. and above meaning towards the buttocks. And can um, you test that? You can test that against it. Anyway. Against the piriformis, yeah. That's, that's why usually, usually I do it face down. Yeah. So, so no, I don't do it face down. That's to well, release that? the piriformis. Go, go about a 31, yeah. two fingers yeah. behind, two fingers yeah. above. Yeah. So that was stomach cheek. Mm -hmm. Spleen 9, we use lots for either they have go about 21 pain, they have appendix yeah. scar. Um, all about a 21 pain. Spleen 9 does a good job mm -hmm. for we needle spleen 9 upwards. Okay. Call about a 21 pain, appendix scar, and L4, L5. Spleen 7, which we take behind the bone. Okay. Okay, so it's attaching the bone. But how far up the channel is it? Officially 6 ton, but I just slide. Are you okay? Yeah, I just a bit stiff. How about it? It's been spleen seven. seven. We use for edema, for bleeding. In the legs, specifically. Yeah. Edema yeah. in the legs. The same way it goes. Uh, specifically to edema anywhere. Did you say bleeding? It must have been needle here, I'm sorry. Uh, when you stand up, there'll be a needle somewhere here. Okay. Just be aware. Um, so it's like kidney nine, but above the 
the, uh, it's like kidney nine. Okay, kidney nine, liver five, and spleen seven are all basically around the same line. Okay. So, mm -hmm. oh, what is that one? just mm -hmm. slide and spleen seven is behind. That's the seven. Okay. Okay. Now you can just mm -hmm. recheck yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And liver five is the same level. Okay. So spleen seven, you slide until you st you know you come to the dent be behind the bone, and liver five is the dent on the bone. Okay, so spleen is behind the bone, liver is on literally on the bone. Liver five we use for um, endometriosis and anti-inflammatory for the low jaw. Moxa only. Moxa only for liver five days. Okay, spleen seven we use for edema, we use for bleeding, and we use for ears, ear infections. <coughs> bleeding anywhere. Bleeding anywhere. Yeah. Stop bleeding. Spleen seven. Spleen seven. Spleen five is a, is another anti-inflammatory point, and we also use it for knees. So anti-inflammatory, we use liver five and spleen five. Liver five and spleen five. Hmm? Liver five. Liver five. <coughs> And spleen five. And what, what was liver five used for? Sorry? What was liver five used for? Mostly anti-inflammatory for the lower jaw or endometriosis. Liver eight, eight is the best point yeah, for cysts. Okay. Um, There's entry sort of Baker system. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, cysts in general. Cysts in general. That's a little, you know, but I'm thinking more like ovarian cysts versus cysts. Ah, okay. You know, that, that's kind of like, you can get up Do you, at your own time. Don't, no, no do rush. you need a uh, spleen fibers as well? Uh, for what? As in, um, it's not just a moxer only point. Spleen five can be needled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is, is there. Okay, Thank good. You much, yeah. You're most welcome. Okay. Tell us how it is. After lunch, it's okay. You have a chance to test it. Yeah. I'd like to test it. Yeah. yeah. He'd like to test it. 